Hey everyone, and welcome to FAC Backstage Pass. This video will be all about FlyRail 101, so if you're ready, let's get started. In this video, we'll be going over some of the basic information about the fly system, FlyRail, and how to operate it. We'll also show you the more interesting parts of the fly system, some of which we haven't gotten to see until we started putting this video together. We use the fly rail to move all manner of soft and hard scenery, things like curtains, panels, and walls, as well as lighting instruments and video equipment like screens and projectors. We're able to do this using counterweight, counterweight that is added to the arbor in the amount of whatever we have attached to the batten. Basically, if we add 100 pounds of scenery to a pipe, we have to add 100 pounds of counterweight to the arbor for the system to work properly. When the system is working properly, a trained individual can move any size piece of scenery, no matter the weight, without assistance. However, there will be times when a second operator is needed. Before we explain the steps needed to actually move a line set, we should lay out some ground rules for operating our fly rail system. Following these rules will help ensure safe operation, not only for your crew, but for your performers and guests as well. During load-in and other periods of setup, it is important to communicate your intentions with the fly rail clearly, so that all crew on stage understand what's happening, can check their surroundings to make sure they're safe, and communicate back to the operator if it is unsafe to move a line set. When someone asks for a line set to be moved, the operator should then call out, so that all on stage can hear them, which line set they intend to move, and in which direction they intend to move it. It is then the responsibility of all the crew on stage to respond vocally, typically with a thank you line set moving, if they are clear and aware of themselves in relation to the moving line set. The operator must always remain in control of the line set they are moving, while also paying attention to input from other stagehands such as spotters, who may be watching for foul-ups as the line set moves past other flown equipment. It is important to keep extraneous noise to a minimum, so there is no confusion if a spotter yells stop when they see a potential problem. It's every crew member's responsibility to look out for potential safety issues and call them out when they see them. It is strongly recommended that all stagehands wear a durable pair of gloves whenever they operate the fly rail to help protect from blisters and cuts while handling the ropes. When you go to move a line set, you will first remove the lock ring from around the handle of the handbrake. Then pull the handbrake down to release it. If you are moving the line set out, you would then pull down on the rope farthest away from you, applying resistance to the rope closest to you to slow down and stop the line set. To bring the line set in, you would then pull down on the rope closest to you, applying resistance to the far rope to slow down and stop the line set. Once the line set is stopped, pull the rope lock up into the locked position and replace the ring lock around the handle of the handbrake. We mentioned earlier that we use counterweight to balance the load on a pipe so that an operator can move it by themselves. In many cases, the operation of loading or unloading counterweight is completed from the loading bridge or loading gallery. For our purposes at the Fine Arts Center, we almost exclusively ground load our line sets due to the limited weight of most flown equipment and scenery we use. Ground loading simply means that we load the counterweight onto the arbor from the stage floor as opposed to the loading gallery. To load or unload counterweight, first bring the arbor to just below chest level. Once it is locked off, loosen the two thumb screws of the orange top plate on the arbor. Then slide the orange top plate up to above head high with the yellow spreader plates and use a spring clip to attach the spreader plates to the top plate. Finally, tighten the thumb screw on the front bracket of the top plate to hold it in place while you add or remove weight. You will notice that the opposing corners of each stage weight has a 45 degree angle notch cut in them. By offsetting this notch with each brick we load, we're left with a small surface to lift the brick from when we unload. These are just a few of the many things to remember when you go to operate a line set. 
In future videos, we'll go into greater detail on these subjects and more as we aim to provide accurate and useful training information for all our employees across the many disciplines of technical theater. Thank you as always for watching. Feel free to let us know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this content, and if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel so you can keep up to date with FAC Backstage Pass.